You're watching Chili Boy Productions. I'm Larry Chili Boy Chilson, and this is our latest reaction to Daredevil. And today we are watching season one, episode seven. And of course, I am joined by my co host, first, Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Hey, it's great to be back talking some more Daredevil. <laughs> it's been a while, so I hope everyone it remembers us. Uh, we're also joined by Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi. Taking it back, trying to remember um, yeah. what took place in episode six. <laughs> if I remember correctly from our reaction, mostly, it was Matt being holed up in that like abandoned building with yeah. the Russian for the whole episode while Claire walked him through a horrifying trachea type of situation. They started to piece together some of what was going on, it seemed. Ben was on the scene. A corrupt cop got shot down. He was like the fall man. And Hannah and I were yelling at Matt to take off the clothes. Uh, that right. is, yes. That's like the most prominent thing in my mind from the last episode. So <laughs> we also got our first Fisk and Matt interaction via the phone and we see that Fisk is setting Matt Murdock slash Daredevil to look like the villain in this whole ordeal like a crazy vigilante man and Foggy has fallen for it right off the bat so let's see where that leads us for episode six called Stick it's a, it's, it's a person, Larry. <laughs> it is a person. <laughs> Let's see if Hannah gets her wish for Matt to return this December. <laughs> All right, yeah. We have a date on December 17th, and he better be there. You better to stand you up, girl. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Sick man. I knew that. I knew the way that man was speaking, he could not be Japanese. I'm like, this sounds like somebody who learned the language and speaks it a little bit stiff. <laughs> He so. did his best. <laughs> I haven't heard this theme in a while. Devil my shapely Irish ass. When oh. that scene comes up. Is that why you like Foggy? Is his Fisticuffs. shapely Irish ass, Hannah? Oh, man. Obviously. <laughs> the Hell's Kitchen. To you and to he looks you. so good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He shouldn't be tried and convicted in the press. Rolled up sleeves and everything. He looks like that guy from the No Way Home trailer. If this guy got caught, <laughs> Council Nelson and Murdoch would. I know. You ready for that? Uh, foggy versus Matt in the mask fight. Talking about punching imagine. him in the melon. <laughs> and there is an episode called Nelson v. Murdoch. Practice you and me, Chelsea Piers. What do you? Say? See you in the morning. My favorite besties. <laughs> what if Foggy would have been like at the end of that exchange? Hey, Matt, catch and threw that ball at him. <laughs> yeah, what do you? That's I don't the way know. he finds out that he's Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> what do you fake? Yeah, what do you fake it? Whether he catches it and proves he's Daredevil or he doesn't catch it and just makes him look oh, like a jerk because so he threw a ball to a black guy. <laughs> man must stand for himself or fall with the unworthy the hell does that mean they coming for you <laughs> someone's coming for him the car gonna explode oh oh god what do you want my wallet you know what i want my wallet. tell me about the <laughs> it's just matt <laughs> silver and brent who do you want for me? i told you Ooh. I worked for Silver and Oh. Oh. 
No, nobody ever thought that Tear Days, uh, uh, Tay's Daredevil. Respectfully, this is the worst child actor I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> See, at least he throws things at blind people. <laughs> He's also blind, so it's okay. <laughs> it cancels it out. <laughs> Pemda's style. This is like a test. Uh, Foggy's would have just been asshole. It's very true. Nobody ever will. This man is giving me 2021 Clint Eastwood vibes. Stop! That's not funny. <laughs> man talking about <laughs> he's trying his best larry he's talking crazy as hell like <laughs> sir i don't know if i'm like cheering on the like rude approach or if i want to say sir slowly step away from the small child <laughs> not bad what about the girl if I overheard this conversation, I'd definitely be calling the police. This is like a very <laughs> weird conversation to have in public, like a foot away from people. If I ask you a question, will you hit me? Depends on the question. <laughs> How did you find me? My dad never wanted me to fight. Your dad what? ain't here. You'll need skills for the war. What war? <laughs> we'll get to that part. When you're Sir. The war. I don't know your name. What do I call you? An old guy just lit you up. You ain't taking care of shit. Why are you here? To save you and everyone in the kitchen from a horrible death. After all these years, Stick still tracking him down. Busted up the one big corporation. Still reading him to death. Oh, why? How do you know he was in there just to... He already saved her. Hurt somebody else. Anna, why are your favorite characters don't like Matt? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, they like Matt. They don't like Matt and Matt. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like his superhero persona. I think it's a long shot. Well, I was a mean three-point shooter on my high school basketball team. I like long shots. Karen, ma'am. <laughs> I would like to see that. By the way, making love interests and in, or side characters who are female reporters and like comic book properties is by far the worst trope ever yeah there's a lot of reporters in comics in general she's not female technically ones. a reporter you'll see <laughs> <laughs> oh okay expensive shithole you had a woman in here that's none of your business <laughs> Back. He's just all up in his business. Time to break this man's nose. <laughs> Sever the nerve like they did in Black Widow. Oh my god. You'd be better off sleeping on real sandpaper than surrounding yourself with all this bullshit. What is wrong with this man? This is like not <laughs> some fancy, like extravagant apartment, <laughs> sir. <laughs> this is like pretty bare bones. <laughs> You He's doing his best in New York, in Hell's Kitchen. Business. Surrounding yourself with soft stuff. Isn't life its death. It's the toxic masculinity for me. We gonna have to take this old blind man out. Honestly. This is why we stand, Matt. <laughs> That's not all I am. This is his teacher. Heir to the Spartans, baddest of the bad. Relationships are a luxury men like you and me can't afford. Stick just wants Matt to be alone forever. Huh? Wants him all to himself, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Sounds a little fruity to me. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly, he has a crush on him this whole time. Um, that would be weird. I'm just kidding. That's like <laughs> definitely edging on grooming. Let's. Edging? <laughs> yeah. Worse your old man. Well, the kid ice cream. <laughs> this old man about to get himself punch sure in the face. The oh, well. <laughs> he has his moments. 
He needs to get his <laughs> ass beat. Like, I am <laughs> over this old fool. <laughs> you got hurt, kid. He's, he trained him into Daredevil. Control that rage. He didn't, and he never will. We all pay for our choices, kid. Maybe you're old Child, why, you, why maybe would you tell him yourself. anything about yourself? What <laughs> in your interaction with him have He's gave you to... any clue he was going to be sympathetic toward your dead uh, father? <laughs> and what you just said. Now, he just needed him. to get his emotions out. Time to stop taking a beating he should have talked to them nuns. Like, this man... <laughs> mm -mm. He's beating me. I swear... Dick's got a no kill rule now. <laughs> it's time to put in the line of fire tonight. Abogado <laughs> Guapo. Yeah, um, Matt. No, Senor Foggy. Oh, man. Oh. We, we, got a, we got another blind character on the show. Lord. It's all about Foggy, not Matt. That's so sick that Karen thought he was talking about Matt, though. <laughs> and she's supposed to be dating Foggy right now. Karen, you're a sick woman. Us as the audience knew the right answer. Los hombros, kid. Que hicieron eso? Y la compañía de mí will have their dicks in a right. Hace cuánto tiempo que tú eres así, señorita Page. You notice how this old lady understood dick in English, though. <laughs> the one word she knew in English. <laughs> then she prays to Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like that's me every time I interact with Hannah, just like scandalized and praying to Jesus. Ooh. Oh no, it's the bald man. It's Girl, bald you better man. get moving. Yay! Oh. The baseball. Our king, Foggy. Yes. <laughs> I can take care of myself. He's everything to me, actually. I'll take care of the black sky. No. Just do your job. I'll do mine. No. You go beat up everybody, Matt. I'll just be over here until they're all defeated. I don't even know if I trust this old man talking about I'll take care of Black Sky. <laughs> what do you truly want it for, sir? Hmm? I love shots like these. They're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> don't be suspicious. People lined up and then somebody either takes somebody out of the frame or <laughs> comes into frame. It's so funny. It's like a horror film. <laughs> I like how no one just noticed that this guy fell into the fucking river. Just oh, casually. Oh, Chilling. God, so funny. Take your time, sir. What's that mean? <laughs> Screwing it all together. Oh. See, this old man plays too much. Always trying to grab these little children. Like a mutant, like some sort of super power. There we go. Let's see, Daredevil actually introduced the X Men. Nope. Yeah. I told you I didn't trust this old man. Your deep down inside oh. feelings. How? We're getting some Jedi lesson. You mean that thing where you? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Stick basically is his Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. One. No. For better or for worse. Hashtag not my Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> How nice. He made him a bracelet from the ice cream. You remember? Oh, God. Stick about to have that little bracelet on him. So Matt's not going to be able to, like, kill him or, like. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. He, said, good. he I said, I don't do that more. sentimental shit. <laughs> I expected too much of you. You're too friendly. If I was a child hearing that, and I was already an orphan, a blind orphan. <laughs> That's why Matt's so messed up. 
I would actually go commit some crime. <laughs> and here we are. You would have turned a fist instead of the masked yeah. man. He's going to become the Joker. Literally. <laughs> Now, why'd you go home? Ain't you supposed to go rescue that little child? You weren't gonna kill anyone. Oh, he's already dead. I caught up with the van while you were dicking around <laughs> with Nobu's man. I put an arrow in that thing's heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't no way this old ass man about to take down Matt. Dick's got the moves. He taught him everything he knows. That's how it always is. No, but he's like twice as strong as this old fool. <laughs> Come on. But that's like the, that's the trope. He taught him every every movie knows. Have you never seen a movie, Larry? <laughs> <laughs> We're doing flips. Yeah, can that old ass man do that? <laughs> I think I would not. like to see it. I would like to see it though. Flip him over the ledge. Oh! 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matt's big mad now. Matt is constantly on the brink of fucking death. <laughs> Always bleeding everywhere. And for what? Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> Imagine being Matt's neighbor and seeing the sky walk out of his apartment. After you just well, heard I mean... all that mess. <laughs> right? The I definitely ceiling making... is like creaking in. <laughs> like, what the hell? Definitely be making what some noise. Don't complaints. tell anyone about this, didn't you understand? Which one, Trump? <laughs> Ben, I'm gonna need you to put arts and crafts time away. <laughs> like they did a great, a great headpiece on him. Why did he put that mask on the joke? <laughs> or the deck? I did not. The black mask. Oh, he had his bracelet. Maybe he has a heart after all. You guys get it. He left Matt because he cared too much, not because Matt cared too much. <laughs> mm -mm. Hannah, I hate you so <laughs> damn much. Hell. I knew he was going to have that fucking bracelet. It's too. done. God damn it. <laughs> Black sky, still a real pain in the ass. Yuck. <laughs> Oh my god, this gives Mortal Kombat so much. No idea. It literally feels like a Mortal Kombat cutscene. Listen, I'm mad that that damn bracelet showed up at the end. <laughs> you knew it was gonna be I knew it was happening, and I'm pissed. I, I wanted them to subvert the trope there, and they fell into it, damn it. <laughs> making me angry. Oh, the but tropes they, are they're there. They also kind of didn't do the trope because it wasn't that Matt cared too much. It was him that cared too much. <laughs> Stop it, Anna. No. <laughs> That's still the trope. That he had that damn bracelet. He had a heart uh, of gold underneath all of that terribleness that he abused Matt uh, for years before. <laughs> Who is this nasty man with all these scars on his back over here meditating with Mortal Kombat Victor's Kombat ass. Style. Victor's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Crossover. I'm talking about Chris opening Christina! up the goddamn doors or whatever. I mean, low key. I don't know if I will. Well, let's see. That's why I need to talk out, but y'all can't say anything, obviously. Because I'm like, low key. Do I believe that he actually killed that child? I'm not sure. Um, because much like Tyler, I usually don't believe in off-screen death. So if, Never. I didn't, if I didn't see it, uh, I'm not sure that oh, I believe no, that that bullshit so happened. Funny. <laughs> I, it's true. funny because I know that Tyler's watching Game of Thrones for the first time. <laughs> that's why it's funny. 
That's so. literally what happened in the last episode we watched. <laughs> where, that's why I'm like, I don't believe it. Uh, so I'm like, nah, you can't just tell me you went and killed this person. I'm going to need to see the proof. I'm going to need to see it with my own eyes. I need I need a, the body. I need to see the child's body. <laughs> so what? He just, he broke up with good old Claire. They done she broke now. up with him. <laughs> oh, she broke up with him. Was that like the end of their conversation last time? What? Or was this like an off-screen breakup? Well, I think that it kind of speaks for itself that he called her to be like, I am about to light a man on fire. <laughs> yeah. I need I you mean, to talk me through it. But she was she was kind of cool with it, especially that man. Like, she was like bordering. <laughs> she was like, just kill him. You know what? We can go ahead. Let's put your your little non-killing rule to the side. <laughs> and let's let's let him die, shall we? Love no. Claire. Meanwhile, Foggy, oh my God, that Foggy and goddamn Karen love story is it's killing them. me. It, it, I hate it. I hate it so much. I can't with either one of them in this little <laughs> thing. You don't need to worry about it much longer. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I know that you were shook when they were talking about the handsome lawyer and it was foggy and not, not well, that. <laughs> Miss, what was her name? What the hell is that? Oh, Alina? I wanted to call her Abuela. <laughs> abuela. I mean, close uh-huh. enough. I mean, she kind of, she's like the Abuela of what's happening, I guess. Ma'am, we're going to need to get you evaluated because what you was talking about, no, that's not it home girl i'm sorry <laughs> you need to keep praying to jesus and get this head wound evaluated i think we need to go talk to matt again just to remind you yeah let's try it like. the one who speaks spanish ma'am the multi-lingual yes. one yes Never no fisk not. this episode though we just got that little weasel uh at the beginning that works with him Oh yeah. Why, why can't we kill these henchmen already? Like, yes, we got rid of the Russians. I mean, okay, we, we're only seven episodes into the first season. <laughs> some of these, some of these other periphery henchmen people to start dropping a little bit because Matt doesn't kill. No, I don't care. <laughs> they got to kill each other. That he already was making that Japanese man Nubo annoyed at the beginning of the episode. Do like you did with the Russians. We got to have them start killing each other off <laughs> something. Madam Gao, it's time to take out Wesley. You'll, you'll get your wish when another character comes in. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. No season love for two, Wesley either. Two. There's two characters that will come in that will reign some. That some don't di- give a damn. They ain't got that type yes. of moral that no. Matt's got. Two. They're like, no. oh, hell no. <laughs> season one two's got you. <laughs> one, <laughs> got the one, one of them is literally the opposite of everything that Matt stands for. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't wait to watch season two because I know me and Larry are are going to live oh my oh. god oh, oh yeah. <laughs> this character tyler knows exactly what i'm talking about she they're gonna be here to serve cunt Ooh. and i'm, I'm ready <laughs> yes <laughs> lord well that was episode seven stick I still, who lets themselves just title. <laughs> who lets themselves be called stick though? Like I'm gonna need so, we gotta we gotta judge this word up a little bit if that's gonna be my like alias. <laughs> now nah, we ain't just going with stick. Like come on now. But, I, mean, I suppose man in the mask isn't really. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he upgraded though. We, we he does, start he man does. in the mask, but we get to something a little bit better. This man Eventually. is damn near the grave and he's still going by <laughs> stick. So it's too late for him, I suppose. I don't know. No love for but no love for stick. No love for stick, even by the end. Even no. Because that bracelet thing made me like him even less. So uh, <laughs> the opposite the zero opposite love for the stick. Opposite of what <laughs> that the was supposed to... was going for. <laughs> you were supposed to be like, oh, you actually care about Matt the whole no. time. Now you're, you're like, no, nah, I hate say it. it. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Well, that was our reaction and recap for season one, episode seven of Daredevil. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on all of our latest videos including each and every one of our daredevil reactions also make sure that you comment below what did you think of episode seven are you like a 
stick stand or were you not feeling it either? Was that toxic toxic masculinity a little bit too much for you too? Let us know in the comments or you can hit all three of us up on Twitter. Tyler, do you want to let everyone know where to find you? Uh, well, obviously, you can also find me reacting to Game of Thrones on Larry's channel. That's been fun. We finally just finished season four, I think it is now. So, and that's, you know, that's why it was, you know, I'm trying to keep track because it's been a while. But uh, season guess. four, yeah. And same with, you know, same kind of thing. Like I said, there's a character in that last episode where I don't believe they're dead because I didn't see them die on screen. But uh, yeah, you can find me here for that and you can also find me on my own channel if you search up my name where reviews reactions all that jazz you can also find me on twitter and instagram and it's tyler calvert and hannah i directed hannah on twitter and then in two months me and larry will be back for hawkeye <laughs> and we're gonna be there for like Haley steinfeld supremacy um yes Haley steinfeld, Rainer, please and move to also the side. florence and the dog. pugh and also florence pugh and the dog and the, do and the and dog possibly lucky possibly vincent d'onofrio yeah oh yeah we didn't talk about that on this series vincent d'onofrio also out here liking shit on twitter yeah, liking tweets oh 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 see one of the no. one of the one of the characters in hawkeye is like has like huge ties to uh wilson fisk so we'll listen see. hawkeye comes out before no way home oh that's maybe all that's the, maybe maybe that's the plan all along <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, uh, thank you all so much for your continued support, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>